What's up YouTube? Back with another review on a t-shirt I ordered last week before I went to uh, Panama City Beach and the company that I ordered it from is Unclean Crew out of Akron, Ohio. Uh, found these guys on Instagram. Uh, ordered this product actually the day that I was leaving to go on vacation on October 18th. Ordered the package a little after uh, 10 a.m. Got an email, great email. Shows a picture of what you purchased uh, and how much it's gonna cost. Um, package showed up uh, somewhere around November 1st. Could have came in maybe a day or two before then, but I wasn't home to uh, check my mail yet. Um, they charged me $6.80 on the website uh, for shipping costs and if you notice um, it, it, it costs them three dollars and seventy eight cents um, to ship the package which is kind of normally you, you don't see that price but having ship shirts out myself um, depending on whether it's going to the west coast or the east coast you don't really know what the charge but I do know from having my own website at one point um, you can kind of program it in there and uh, it'll select, when you select where you're from, the, the delivery charge will go either up or down. Um, this isn't a company that actually owns their own site. They, they use like a third party site for, um, for their, you know, their, their t-shirt business. So I'm sure it's a small business. It's not a big deal. Um, you know, roughly almost double the shipping cost. Um, but I, the one thing I didn't like about the ordering process, or after I should say the ordering process, I never got an email to uh, confirm that my package was shipping. Um, that's always kind of nice to send your customer an email with the confirmation number and the shipping and a tracking number of uh, their package so they can kind of know when to expect it. I did email them. They did get back to me the next day to let me know that the package was shipped, which was nice. That's a great personal touch. So um, we'll go ahead and open the package up. Okay, so we have, here's the other side of the bag. Pull the shirt out. All right, here's the first thing that's wrong. Um, the uh, product's not in a bag. Anytime you, you ship a customer something, it should be in a bag. Um, that way, if something happens to it, at least it has a secondary bag to protect it from something happening. Um, let's go ahead and pull the shirt out and see what it looks like. Okay, so the print's good. I'm looking at the print. Um, sometimes when you get screen printed shirts, they have ink spots here and there. Um, this isn't like the last shirt review I did where the company was actually printing their own tags. These guys are just buying shirts from a company and um, printing on them. But the print looks good. Let's check the, uh, the back side out. Okay, back side is the same as the front. Print's good, print's smooth. Um, no ink on any of the collars, or I mean the collars, the sleeves. Um, so that's good. Uh, should have one more thing in here. Okay, yeah, I ordered a sticker. Um, and there's the sticker kind of fucked up uh, anytime you um, you ship a sticker out it should be sent with two pieces of cardboard one on the front one on the back that way it protects it from getting creased up um, but this is probably a new company um, just printing their own stuff the other thing that I didn't like uh, was they hand wrote my name and my address on the bag itself but if you notice they took the time and they had these printed up um, having a uh, post office um, mailers with your company logo and putting them through your printer is, is a pretty simple process so um, you would think they would go through the time to do that but they didn't um, the, uh, the other thing guys is yes I am doing some vlogs I tried to do a vlog before I left for vacation I went out I actually did two of them the video turned out great but the audio was freaking crap. Um, 
I should have bought the GoPro adapter and I didn't. I bought something off of Amazon and that, that piece of wire in between that and the microphone shit the bed. So, um, so there are some vlogs coming up. I'm doing some work on the Dyna Low Rider S. Handlebars, risers, Conley fairing, foot pegs, uh, exhaust, and some other small stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, those should be coming up. Um, I'll probably do a vlog going to the dealer and then a vlog coming back from the dealer. Um, guys, really support. I really appreciate you supporting the channel. Please hit the like button. Please leave your comments. Um, if, you, if there's something out there that you want me to review, maybe I already own it. Um, and I can give you a review on it. I'm probably going to be doing a review on a Cena headset. I think you guys, if you look back at the channel, I did one on a Uclear. Um, and that thing is just a total piece of shit. So we're going to be taking that back to the store. Um, and the other thing, like I said, please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel. And uh, once again, this is Knuckle Up Fight Club, where we don't talk about fighting because we're on probation.